everybody. Welcome to the Doll Circle. Today we're going to be doing a quick review of a find we found in the garage sale. Uh, the Barbie and the Rockers AM personal wrist radio. Uh, <laughs> this thing is, is massive. <laughs> like, like, okay, here's my finger and look how big, like this is not, and I have a really tiny wrist too. So like this thing is massive looking. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Barbie and the Rockers, I have a reproduction of the doll. I don't have the original. She's from 1986. She was kind of like Barbie's competitor for Gem and the Holograms in the 80s. Kind of. I mean, I know they made a couple other little series, but it was kind of like the biggest competitor, I guess. But. <laughs> so we're going to, we've never, we've never tested this thing. It is. We're gonna open it up, we're gonna pop some batteries in it, and we're gonna see if this works. And who's it say it's by Powertronic? Is that what the name I'm just saying? Powertronic. Is that the company that made it? Yes. Oh my god, that is awesome. Like just AM radio this. may not even be like so does it what did you say about AM radio? Like I know like, like I used to listen to it as a kid, they had all the classical news stations. If but you've never heard the song by Everclear called AM Radio. AM radio, AM radio. <laughs> exactly. They talked about how in the seventies and the sixties and even some in the eighties. AM radio used to have a lot of music and a whole variety. It used to be really dominant. Um, and then over the t over time, over the years, it really started to drop off and turn for favor of FM, which has had a, a lot better signal, a lot better quality, a lot people, a lot more people started listening to FM, and AM kind of you know kind of died off. So pretty much all that is on AM today is talk radio and sports. So I'm not sure if uh, the new version. <laughs> I don't know if this will even work. We may get some weird aliens trying to contact us through this, is what I'm hoping for. I'm just imagining <laughs> a new version of Barbie in an AM radio. It's like Barbie rocks out to Rush Limbaugh. Well, so. I know. It's like all talk radio stuff, so I'm excited <laughs> to get this out. So We do have batteries. This does take three triple A's. Which are not included, thankfully. Because <laughs> I could imagine this many years with AAA batteries sitting in it, they probably would explode. <gasps> oh, my oh my god. It is so cool, though, looking. Oh my god, there's a tuner on the side. Oh, yeah. <gasps> okay, see, like, as a kid, I would have loved this, because I actually did listen to the I don't listen to the radio anymore, because now I feel like everything on the FM radio is terrible. Except for except for the college radio, I still listen to that. But, um, I mean, with the... <laughs> I need a screwdriver for this. Oh, really? Should we stop the video? Try to put the... <gasps> Oh. Nope, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but I just like how something yeah. like they took like Barbie and the Rockers, obviously she's supposed to be a musician, and they made a radio for it. Like I wonder why they only made AM. Why wouldn't they make FM? Even in the eighties, FM was big, wasn't it? Like why yeah, would they not? It... What? It works. Hold on, something's wrong with the camera. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. Okay, we're back. <laughs> so, <laughs> technical difficulties. So, technical difficulties, but. Which is, this thing does work, uh, as you saw from my mildly shocked face earlier. Um, there's two volumes, low and high. And it gets really loud, surprisingly. It gets pretty loud, but one, one caveat is uh, the tuning is very limited. It pretty much just picks up one and a half stations. So it's... Uh, and that's it. <clears throat> that's it. So one, you have one station on this. <laughs> And that's it. And because it's AM radio, it is nothing but talk radio. So. Yeah, but I could imagine. Can you imagine if this came out now, though? And like you could maybe do some type of. It's basically like, kind of like the vintage. Here, turn off for a second. But I feel bad if people can't hear us. Um, it's kind of like the vintage version of like the new. What do you call those new phones on the watches? The like the iPhone ones and the Android oh, ones. Oh, Apple Watches. Yeah, like Apple Watch. I, I see. I sound like an old woman. I'm like, what the newfangled <laughs> things? The newfangled technology <laughs> with the flats and the boom, boom. Suddenly turn into a strange Bill Cosby thing. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about, though, right? Like the new watches that you can connect through Bluetooth through your phone. This is what they had in the '80s. It won't fit. Oh, it fits me. It's actually kind of big for me. Like, my, I, I have a really tiny wrist. My wrist is too big for <laughs> small girls' watches. Can you imagine Where's wearing that, like, out now? <laughs> oh, my God. That'd be great. But can you, like, honestly, comparing it to, like, what they have now, it's, like, the new ones, like, connect Bluetooth to your phone. Original AM radio. Yeah, this is straight <laughs> up just AM radio. <laughs> yep. I think so. it's awesome, though. I think it's cute. It's different. It's something that, like... I would have loved as a kid because, like I said, I, I like yeah. watching it. And, and when you were, and, you know, when we were younger, we would have maybe picked up some music on it, but because it's AM radio, it's just going to be like Barbie rocking out to political talk radio. <laughs> 
government. <laughs> you give us your opinions on government. Yeah. So um, the uh, this thing is gigantic, and we it. <laughs> it's just like it's just like it's just ridiculous. It's but... really awkward. <laughs> If someone were to wear this today. Even back then, I'm pretty sure it would have been kind of awkward. Yeah, but it's, if you're a kid, you don't care, though. I feel like. I don't know. Either way, we love it. It was an awesome find at a yard sale. And as always, make sure to check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribe if you want to see Philip ramble on with me about random toys. We do this all day. <laughs> I know. Like, Philip, a little bit. If I let the camera go, I think he would just keep talking, which is awesome. If you guys want to see more of Philip, review more awesome toys, comment below. The more you comment, the more you'll see a Philip. Yay! All right. Play us out. Talk radio. Oh. We have a song. We have a song. Kind of music. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. This is going to play us out. And bye, guys. Bye.